So fire departments have been preparing for today's fire weather warnings. Mally Jones learned how neighboring departments work together to put out those fast moving grass fires. She joins us live from Fire Station 81 in Derby tonight. Mally. Jeff Mulvane and Derby firefighters say communication is key. It's part of the training they do throughout the year. One thing they've noticed in working together is how important it is when each person brings new skills to the table. The Derby Fire Chief John Turner says they work with neighboring departments every day. So days like today with high fire danger, they know what to expect. Oh, when extreme fire weather conditions occur uh, like they are today, it really helps us out because we're very familiar with equipment we're familiar with personnel. Um, it operates almost like one big fire department when you need a lot of resources. He says everyone is an asset from the paid departments to the volunteers. Some of the more rural departments have more off road experiences and especially some of those members may have grown up uh, on, on ranches or farms where they burn you know, routinely and they have that experience, which is helpful. Mulvane Deputy Chief Lowell Esther says training never stops in fire service. Improving communicating and networking is one of the most important elements. Firefighting is networking. You know, the, the firefighters have to know the firefighters in the adjoining communities. They have to know the people at the state level. We have to communicate and, and know what's going on and keep abreast of the situation. About five years ago, Sedgwick and Sumner counties created task forces to determine what resources in the county can be sent where if another area requests help. The Mulvane Deputy Fire Chief tells me it came together after the Anderson Creek fire over five years ago when the response wasn't very organized. When a fire happens and an agency needs extra assistance, the state will call in a task force. The task force will then determine what resources, if any, they can send so they can make sure their home is still protected. Each department is able to send one truck so you don't completely deplete your department on a deployment. You send one truck with a couple guys, some departments can send a couple, three. Obviously, City of Wichita has three or four sometimes they have available. Just depends on the day and the staffing. After the county task force is created for an incident, they arrive as a team and work together because they know the capabilities of one another and the equipment. He also says there is somebody on scene to coordinate efforts between the local departments and the task forces coming in. Here for you in Derby, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.